Okay, so I've been having a lot of problems trying to get something out uh, for a while now. Uh, running into problems where I'm not really understanding some things. Today I found some things that were really cool. One, one I'd like to show you. Um, just almost start with just a canvas real fast. Um, just bring in my picture of my sculpt and I'll set it to the camera. So we're in the view. Now, in in this view, I'm going to go back to object mode. I'm going to add a torus and scale it down. I'm going to give it our canvas material and then go to edit mode U project from view. Okay, so then texture paint will allow us to paint here. So I'm going to choose a bright color. So now we got this over the top. And that's cool and everything, but I, I, I was thinking, what if I want to move it around? I, it's a lot of move. If, if I want to move it, I'd have to go to tab out to go to object mode. I have to move it, tab to edit mode. Then I have to U project from view, go back to texture paint, and then do it. It's a couple steps and it's not that quick. So I'm trying to figure out ways to make it faster. So uh, let me go ahead and put that there. Then what I'll do is go to object mode and I'll move it and by pressing just a reproject we're in there already and that doesn't seem like much but it's actually a couple steps faster just a little bit so then I started thinking about what if I don't want the same shape what if I want to do something else with it? Now remember our mask that we create in Blender Paint, uh, well in the Artist Paint panel, these are actual, they, be, they are stored as, as vectors on the 20th layer but they're actually as actual mesh masks in the first layer and if we want them to, or if we want to work with them with booleans, we'd have to add a sub uh, solidify modifier to them which is simple but to demonstrate what you can do with the booleans let me go ahead and re reset our uh, canvas here and uh, rotate 90 reset rotation okay so just to see if I can get there you know now we still have our object so oh excuse me let me select the other object okay now I'm going to move this so we can see our object I'm gonna roll it this way what I want to show you is that we can use our bool tool and I like to use the brush boolean so that we can modify them as we go combined with that other tool. Uh, in scripting, let me see, let me open that script. And it's something I want to add to the panel, but right now it's very simple. We have just this statement toggles to edit mode. This statement it is the UV project from view. Then this statement toggles back uh, from edit mode to object mode, and then this statement toggles to text paint. And that's it. That's all it does. So that comes into play when we go back to our actual uh, after our boolean. So I like to use the ones that are modified. You know, you can modify them as you go. So let me see here. I go ahead and make a copy of this, and I'll bring it out. I'll scale it in Z. So I, I want to make sure that I'm fully encompassing our mesh here. I'm going to shift select my original one and press difference and then what I want to do was with this one selected I want to press the reproject from view which should have done that from here there you go and we're in texture paint so now voila we have a modified object or a modified mask. And if we go back to object mode, 
we can select both both of them move it here and then just select our our other piece and you can kind of see where you're going with this right I'll move this and then I'll reselect the the main object not the brush not the boolean brush hit reproject and now I've got a modified but I didn't actually kill my mesh object or I didn't modify it without the ability to come back and change it so this is a really cool application of the bool tool um, and like I said we can do this with the, the curves let me just show you an example of how you can use those but we'll go with just file new so I can get a new clean workspace what I mean is if we have a curved circle and we create it 2D so this is like our mask that we initially drew and so in edit mode I'm going to scale it on X come back to object mode so that it's our mask Alt C to convert to mesh I'm going to turn it sideways so we can see I'm going to go to edit mode A select everything and I want to convert it by, by dissolving all the faces and convert it to one face then I'm going to add a solidify modifier and make it a decent amount object mode then shift D to duplicate I'm going to come to the side I'm going to come up and Z and I'm going to extend the thickness beyond the other one shift select the first primary one and with the bool tool hit difference and this happens every once in a while I just have a problem sometimes where it just doesn't want to listen to me again I'll shift duplicate change the thickness bring it up in Z uh, and I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and control A rotation and scale and see if that helps shift duplicate come out come up thicker different oh man it's not working <laughs> let me try with a mesh object first let's go ahead and just take it to a, a mesh circle edit mode F object mode the modifier solidify thicken it up shift duplicate come to the side come up in Z thicken up the mod shift select difference there you go and that's what I was trying to do with the curves I'm not really sure maybe it was because I put the modifier on while it was in edit, edit mode I really hope that's not it but this for the most part I've had it working pretty well and like I said this is this is something I, I was looking at because it's pretty easy to modify this and what I mean is is that in edit mode we can actually scale up or down or even use uh, uh, proportional edit to turn around and get us a different uh, a different shape than what we normally would get and we can we can get pretty good with actually working with two different curves and converting them to mesh and then using them however you want to but this can be our, our cutaway for our paint uh, it could be something as complex as a face or it could be just something as simple as a um, you know just a block out for for a spaceship or something 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 simple or it could just be for masking out uh, a pattern on something that's a little more complicated than just using a brush but I just wanted to show you what it was working on and uh, hopefully I can get this worked out pretty well I'm trying to look at maybe using the boolean tools here 
and make me making a simpler version that will actually do a couple of operations at once because like this this operation with adding the solidify modifier and then making a thicker one and um, setting them up so that they can work I'm thinking of actually making a button that will call some of these operations at the same time as it's adding the other other things so that you don't have to go so far so maybe maybe after you've made the vector contour you know you can have another section here where we can uh, add the the thickness and then have some uh, simple icons that call the bulls after they're they're selected. So instead of instead of the whole panel here like this, maybe just bring these in as uh, buttons just right underneath there. But anyway, I hope that's uh, helpful in some way. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys later.